So I suppose when you ask about your focus, you're thinking about successful publication and getting some readers like most authors do. Yeah. Yes. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I want to have this work and I don't mm -hmm. want me to have a block. So I just thought this is my opportunity because you'd be able to comprehend if there's something that is I'm holding things back. I don't think so, but no. I'd like to know if I am. You know, no, so. I don't. I don't think so either. Though it's an odd sort of answer, um, because you're asking about getting it out there. You're thinking about marketing. You might expect to get an answer saying, you know, promote this hyperactively, and instead you have hexagram thirty three retreat, changing at three and four to twenty seeing. So the right focus is to retreat and see. Uh, the first thing I like to do with a reading is see how the two hexagrams fit together. Um, I think these two, retreating and seeing, fit together really naturally and coherently. You know, when you withdraw, when you disengage, then you can see. You can get a full picture of what's really there because you're not kind of in the thick of things, doing all the stuff and trying to make it all happen. Okay, you know, Maybe a bit surprising when you're thinking of how do I market this? But um, yeah, um, it's an oracle. It surprises us. It's what it does. <laughs> yeah. So what I like to do is go through 33, retreating, and then have a look at 20, seeing, sitting in the background. And then once we've got those two sort of pillars in place, um, have a look at moving lines. Uh. Yes. I mean, the moving lines are the most important bit, but I like to leave them to the end so we know where they're sitting in between everything else. Great. 